Okay, so I've got a MacBook Air M1 running Nuendo with the Dante Virtual Sound Card. And I'm doing right now, I'm doing a 64 channel record, the biggest I can do with Dante Virtual Sound Card. And I'm doing so at 32 samples buffer. I've never been able to run any system on 32 samples buffer. And this thing is using a cheap $40, you know, dock thing for the gigabit ethernet back there. I've got a hard drive daisy chained off a UAD Octo card. Look at that. It's taken it like a champ. These are all unique tones done uh, off my main Nuendo system over here using a test generator on 64 channels. Kind of hard to see, but I mean, whatever. I'm doing a bunch of different tones. Sending them all uniquely to this laptop. 64 channels. I have never seen anything like this before. I have to say, assuming there's no dropouts on these on this recording, 32 samples. 32, well, okay, so there I saw a little disc catch pop. I'm gonna have to check it. Now, I'm, I'm only going a couple minutes here. I don't know why I'd ever wanna do this, but this is just unbelievable. I think, assuming everything works good, this is the biggest leap forward in computing I've ever seen for audio. And tomorrow, <laughs> the Mac Studio shows up. So this is just a preview. There you have it. Okay, so now on playback is the only time I've got any issues, which is simply disc buffering, playing back 64 channels. So uh, here I'm gonna, I'm gonna play back some stuff. You can hear the tones sort of ramping up as the different tracks pick up, and you might hear some dropouts. So again, this is 64 channels. Each track is a different tone on it, different sine wave. And this is playing back off an M1 Air via Dante. Well, here we go. So Everything's playing back fine right now. When I started before, I saw this disc cache uh, buffer up pretty high and freak out, but it's going fine right now. So here, I'm going to skip ahead. Okay, there you heard it. That's all the tones kicking in as, as it reads off of disc. I'll do that one more time or move around. Remember, this is 32 samples buffer. This is stupid ridiculous. Okay, now once the disc gets going, everything's fine. When I first played back, it took a little while, and I think... What was going on was um, it was probably rendering, you know, the uh, the uh, waveform files, the drawing the pictures of the waveform. So this is just ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Thirty two samples and the window taking it like a champ. Uh, the hard disk is just a USB three daisy chained off the back of this UA Octo. Um, box or whatever and that's going directly in so my network interface is on this cheap you know 30 40 dollar something totu totu find it on amazon um this is just next level stuff so i i can't i'm just pretty darn impressed i don't know what the problem is going to be i'm sure there's going to be some limitation but this is just a macbook air this is insane here here's to the future Okay, just to make the point here, core audio, 32 samples is the buffer, okay? We're running um, Dante Virtual Sound Card, which just came out for M1. I've got all 64 channels activated. I'm using the 64 inputs to record this, and that record went fine. And so now the only thing you hear, watch the uh, disc buffer, and you can see the meters on each track as it starts to play back. Okay, so that's fine. It played back immediately because all that was in buffer. Now I'm going to skip ahead a couple of minutes. Watch this. You, you could hear all the different tones picking up as the disc jumped around. I'll, I'll do it one more time. 
and then it just settles back down as if nothing's going on. I've never seen anything like this. 32 samples, 64 tracks, record and playback. M1 Air. Freaking awesome. Coming from the big system.